Well, what did you expect from a title that's called Level 2 Cheat Something, right? Now, this is a story about a guy from an isekai world, right? It's already a fantasy world. It's a native isekai that got transported into a another world. So that's a little unique, right? It's not like someone from Japan getting transported. It's just like a bro is in a fantasy world, goes to a another world. And it's like, he hits level 2 and becomes OP. Why? I don't really know other than the fucking title. And the other thing is that he's like gender bender now, right? I'm not really sure if that's confirmed, but he did have a female form that he was... Uh, and he went back to the male form, right? But I don't know if that's going to actually last. So maybe we're going to get some kind of like Ranma kind of vibes. Remember Ranma back in the old days, right? That boomer show, right? With the gender bender. So at least there's that too. And the harm has pretty much formed. This show doesn't seem to be very special at all. But it seems like you guys are enjoying it because we enjoy our fucking trash fucking, you know, this is this is how I feel about animes like this. And maybe I'm giving being a little bit too mean right now, but bear with me. I feel like trashy isekais like this is basically um, you're like drunk as fuck or you're high as fuck. And it's like three in the morning and you go to 7-Eleven, you get a taquito or you get pizza. It tastes great in the moment. But you know what you're signing up for. This is not a gourmet restaurant experience. We are in the parking lot of a 7-Eleven and 4 in the fucking morning eating their fucking nuked pizza. But it's kind of tasty. And I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys are too. Let's begin. Episode 2. That's right. Fenris the Lupin Warrior. Lupine Warrior? But you have infinite. She returns to fucking humanoid form? Bro jumped and had no landing, but the physical ability is so powerful. I mean, we got an infinite skills, right? Bro was just reading out every fucking name of the skills he has in this fucking multi. He has like a 20 monitor setup around him, right? It's like a fucking 360 monitor setup. And he's just listing every fucking magic because he just has it. Like, is every skill we're using like some legendary class, like insane magic? Behold, the power of gravity. Subjugation. Nothing like isekai and slavery. Mm, mm, mm. You just can't get isekai without slavery. It's called subjugate, though. It's it's called sub. We're not. It's not slavery. We're subjugating her. And my guess is, then she's gonna become like that girl in the opening. Would he do that though? Oh really? He won't do it. Cause he remembers. Her. Okay. This fucking AI is OP! The, 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 the fucking fan is like trying to, to teleport away and the AI is like cancelled. Uh, hey, by the way, uh, subjugation recommended. No? Okay. Uh, by the way, subjugation recommended. Oh, you don't want- Subjugation recommended. Oh, override. Just subjugate. So this is how we're gonna be able to blame the system for subjugating her because he didn't want to do it. Cancelled. See? <laughs> That's like four fucking times. <laughs> Subjugation recommended. You don't have to be a warrior. Mm. Baby girl, we different. Ooh, equality. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> it doesn't look like the girl from the opening, right? It's almost there, though. The hair is there. She's fucking naked. He's fucking naked. But, like, it, 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 the hair is similar. The face is there. It's just... Is there a time skip? Does it grow up fast? How are you even hiding it? How does this work? Like, 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 usually the hair would fall down to the nipples and hide it, but like, what? It's just, it's, it just doesn't, anyways, it works for me. I'm the, at least we don't have to go to kick for this. Dryad or her? Dryad from Remonster or her? Because just, just a couple, just like an hour ago, you motherfuckers were so down bad for the Dryad. It's like, what, what, what? Her? Her? You fucking degenerates. Mm. Cover up, girl. So, she does look older, huh? Because, like, last episode, she was tiny as fuck. And then she turned into the wolf thing, the Fenrir. 
And now she does look like the girl. The height is kind of there, right? The size is there for the opening girl, right? The lolly form was just like an illusion thing to trick them, right? Cameraman, sussy. Sussy cameraman. Always so ready with the angles, cameraman. Were there not the other girls just watching the entire time? Where the fuck did they go? Did we teleport them somewhere? Wasn't there like a fucking like group of like five different girls, bro? So this form was a lie to lure innocent, naive people. And then now that she showed her real form, she's back in her real form and the other people are teleported. That's where we're at right now. And the topic of the teleport, it's not just him individually. He did like simultaneous teleport for the other girls, which I think is fucking cracked, right? I feel like that's getting overlooked. Like even in like Kumo, remember so I'm a spider so what? Like an AOE teleport was fucking huge, right? This is not like an individual teleport. This is like different people casting different fucking circles. Boom, 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 right? You're the main character of a show that's called Level 2 Chidi Sakai something, bro. <laughs> Resistance to magic, but we use gravity magic. Yes, it's different. We probably healed her. She is very well endowed. Oh my goodness. Skinned her? She'll never fight with humans again. Oh. Waga Kimi! Waga Oh! Now give me the hand. Give me the panting like Ranga. He's so arrogant. You know what? I don't even mind that he's being arrogant to the king because they both fucking suck. I hope the worst for both of you, but this is kind of funny how he's shitting on the king as well. Bro. Yep, not me. It's all your fault. Yep, I'm perfect. I'm, you should be grateful. Pussy. You're sitting at the very fucking back. Some leader you are. Cha-ching! <laughs> Caught on 4K. No, no, no. You fucking ran away with the horse, you coward. Good. Fuck this hero, bro. He's not a hero. The skills are not improving. His stats are so OP, but skills not yet acquired. Interesting. What's going on with this guy? I wonder if there's something to do with us. Because he got summoned right after us, right? Because we got summoned and then our stats were looking pretty bad. And then little did they know if we hit level 2, we got infinity skills. He got summoned after and he was already blessed with 999. But interestingly enough, even though he trains, nothing changes. What is going on here? Is it the consequences of us having infinite scats and skills? I'm not sure. Yeah, he did have the same stats. This is 999. Nothing is changing. Stats aren't going up. Skills not even acquired. Fuck this guy, but I want an explanation. Princess. All the girls in this show are so well endowed. Oh my god. Here we go. Servant, huh? I think she's using him. The way that she's talking is very... It's kind of like condescending, kind of playful. I'll indulge you in every luxury with the castle's money. I feel like she's just using him. And rightfully so. Fuck this guy, bro. Fuck gold diggers, but, you know, fuck this guy, man. He deserves this shit. Transition scene. Alright, guild time. Guild receptionist. Let's see the guild receptionist girl on this show. Waga Kimi! Waga Kami! Uh, yeah, you. Okay, so we're gonna be married. <laughs> She's just like Delta from Eminence and Shadow, right? Because Delta was always like, Bosu, Bosu, we'll have so many strong kids that we can just die. That we don't need weak kids, just kill them. We can just make more strong babies. All that matters is a strong husband. <laughs> These Beast Girls are so, so honest with their feelings, man. How thought you were gonna say fucking Darl 
stalling for a second, man. She said Danna Sama. The subs got me. Darling, Danna Sama. Okay, Danna Sama. Mm. Also, what happened to the other girls that we teleported? Are we going to see them again? Maybe? Yeah, we're matching. Wow, like couples. Okay, so in their culture, in marriage, mated pair swallows some of the bones from the prey they hunted together. Aww. Sure, let's eat a bone together. No, oh, no, the accessory is the bone. Woo! We got a guild receptionist girl. We got an Erifu. Now, if she's not showing cleavage, she's, she's pretty, you know, hiding a lot of the good compared to the other guild receptionist girl we've been seeing in the Isakais recently, but she's still great. <laughs> that sounded almost tuny. Okay. I see the appeal of this show, not from the perspective of the main character, who pretty much just got cheat skills for no reason, but for Fenri. She is the entire reason why everyone watches this show. It's just her. She's great. That's it. Oh shit! Emergency request! Emergency request! <laughs> to the front gates, everybody! Wait, it's the... Hold up. Not the ones... Okay, okay. So this is the army, the, the demon, the, the, the demon's army that beat the, the hero's army because the hero ran away. So now it's time for us to fucking show up and be a real hero. Okay. 10x! Let's go! All that matters is money. Let's go! <laughs> Army of Psycho Bears. Look at this fucking pout, man. Look at this pout, bro. Reese will do it. Show me it. Go kill the Psycho Bears. Wait a minute. Did we actually fight the Psycho Bears? Yeah, you're right. Hold the fuck up, Storm. I think you're right. The rumors was... These bears beat the hero's army. But we're supposed to go to the demon army. But in the flashback, it looked like we were already in the battlefront. I thought we were already fighting the soldiers. But this is making it sound like fucking Motoyasu wannabe didn't even get past the psycho bears to reach the demon army. I'm not sure. Because the battle open field, it looked like we were already fighting. Then again, we only saw our men, right? I don't know. As long as we're together, I bet we could even defeat the Dark One. The Dark One is the title of the Demon Lord, right? Yeah, she said Mao, but I saw the subtitles. I'm like, what the fuck? It's <laughs> these fucking idiots. It's the girls that tried to fucking, you know, kill us last time. They didn't. They didn't. They thought that we were like bullying some little girl. What was happening? They pulled up on us. They fucking pulled up on us last episode. Let them die. Fuck them. Well, I'd probably be mean. It looks, I'm not sure if we're going to get harm, actually. Well, Reese would be fine with the harm or not. Uh, in Eminence and Shadow, Delta would be fine with it. Delta is fine. You know, all that matters is strong offsprings. You can have many different wives, right? But Reese might be a little bit different. I'm not sure. Is it harm or not? Who knows? <laughs> Let's just ignore those weaklings. Blossom, no! What is... What kind of armor is this? Like, like... Like, like... You got injured on the arm because you're wearing fucking, like, the tiny shoulder pads. Just like a little boot plate. Like, what, what are you protecting here? This is level 99 endgame armor in video games, I know, but like... Bro, where is the protection? What the fuck is going on here, bro? Like, what? what is even the point of the shoulder pad? You, you, there's no point! Just fucking wear nothing! What? what you, you, it's the fucking point of this shit! 
Lightning? No, this is actual female video game armor, right? She's a knight. She's got a real set of armor. She crafted the fucking five piece set, holy whatever. This is real armor. The other girl, what in the fuck are you wearing? You're going to a fucking bikini shoot. <laughs> Uh-oh. What an entrance. Two in one. Do you guys see the two in one right now? Who in chat knows what I'm talking about right now? Two in one. Y'all already said the armpit. That's right, real. That's right, real. Armpit and the side boob. That's right. Holy shit, that was a crazy pose, bro. They didn't run away. Yeah, we teleported them out. I mean, you, you kind of are a monster. What? I thought I'm your wife! Oh, How are you gonna do reefs like that? Psycho Bear! <laughs> she's fucking pissed. <laughs> she's fucking pissed. Oh, she's Psycho Bear picked the wrong fucking time. You picked the wrong fucking time for this one. How shokuno haki? So she has it too. Pretty much. It's just submit, right? Right? It's showing its belly, right? It's being all cute too. Maybe we can tame this Psycho Bear. Maybe we can take it home, man. Right? Showing belly up like this is a complete submission. Okay, we get one Psycho Bear pet then. Let's go. Psycho Bear, my ass! This is a kawaii bear! Not, not subordinate pet. We're gonna have a Psycho Bear as a pet. Psycho Bear is her ferocious pest that even bested the... Hero's army. You were right. Yep. The hero's army could not even get to the fucking demon's army. The psycho bear took out the fucking hero's army and the hero ran out fucking crying. So the next time we meet the hero, will we have the bear with us as like a pet? And then the hero's gonna be like, holy shit. It's one of those bears that wiped my army out before and you have him as a fucking pet? <laughs> Restriction. Oh, look, cute little collar, man. Okay. This is like Bluren from a. Uh... What is the likelihood of this turning into a girl right now? <laughs> Here we fucking go. Is it gonna be a waifu? Is it gonna be a waifu? Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's a cute familiar. It's a cute familiar. Oh, okay, okay. It's a cute familiar. Okay, bye. I'm like, are we gonna get a fucking bear waifu now? <laughs> Little cute rabbit thing, man. Aww. <laughs> the other girls are like, what the fuck is going on? Our CGI house. Farm girl, frontline heavy fighter warrior. Horse girl. And then the Kudere mage. I like her the most. <laughs> my name, everyone's like, my name is this. I come from this. I do that. She just like, better know. Which. How the fuck are we going to train them? It's not like we have any martial arts or coordination or leadership or war strategies. We just have fucking infinite skills and stats and we just spam attacks. But how are we going to train them? What could we possibly do to make them better? Yeah, Psycho Bears took out these fucking armies. The heroes are fucking coward. Bro was so scared. He fucking locked himself. It's like an actual teenager back at home. <laughs> I'm not gonna come out and eat dinner, mom and dad. I'm gonna starve.
He just fucking locked the door and now he's just like so incompetent, so insecure of himself. He's just like, shit, I got wiped by a bunch of bears, bro. This is some bullshit. I'm not gonna go out there until we get some fucking OP motherfuckers to take out the dark one or the Mao. Okay. Minimum be able to take out the psycho bears is the goal there. I'm sure we can train him up to do it, but it's like, how do we train him? Exactly! What the fuck do you know? Oh, how dare you try to get my Danna sama's attention? No, no teaching private lessons for you. Wife, wife, boom, done. Oh. Also, uh, how does this work? This is kind. Of, this is bestiality. This, cause like, you know, this is. Bestiality. So people in this world are fine with that. They're just like, oh yeah, it's just totally normal for you to just marry, you know, a, a lupine girl. Yeah, I may or may not be fucking this dog, yes. <sighs> wait, 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 wait. That's a shame? What did you say? That's a shame. Wait, 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 wait. I see we want to go. Okay, okay. It's just like not, no, they're not thirsting over him. It's just like we don't want to get in your way because we're married. Please hit a pleaser. She's all fine now, because we call her a wife. She'll even teach them, fuck it. This is true. This is true. Yes, and as your wife. Wife, by the way. Did I mention that I'm his wife? Mm. <laughs> the coup today can't even say anything. It's just a noise. She's my favorite. So this is not a harem. These girls simply want to become stronger to fight on the level of a psycho bear. We only have Reese. Even though it kind of looks like a pseudo harem because we're surrounded by girls, the girls are not thirsting over him and he does not thirst over them. So it seems like it's not a harem. We gotta let it cook. We, got, we, got, we gotta let it cook though. We gotta let it cook. We, you don't know. You don't know. Hmm? Yeah. Can I share your bed? Hmm. It's because she wants to share a bed with them, right? <laughs> Lucky motherfucker, dude. Ending? No. Oh, uh. Every isekai Mao castle. It's this! Some Castlevania shit on a fucking cliff, dark air, miasma with the fucking moon. Clayman is in there, you're right. Clayman is in there fucking drinking a wine glass, looking out the fucking window. Crack! Lightning strikes! No lights are on every fucking time. You're right. This isekai demon castle number 767. If we have an isekai immediate tutorial village map, then we also have an isekai Mao fucking castle, bro. Mao Sama. So she seems like some kind of demon cat girl? I don't know. She got them ears, right? She got them furs. <laughs> we now know. I love the fucking cat puns. When was the last time the subs went hard with cat puns? I think it was um Danmachi. Danmachi season four part two. One of the um the cat girl guild. That girl, every fucking line was something yeah, something paw. It was so good. What will Mew do? What will Mew do? Okay, this is the actual demon lord. Good luck with that, bro. And that's the episode. Um, this episode was actually way better in an interesting way. Is it post crisis? Hold on. It's not. This episode is really interesting because last episode we were just thrown into this isekai with so much cliche, so much. Oh, he just gets OP powers for no fucking reasons and blah, blah, blah. You know, there's a lot of the same repeated tropes, but the different thing now is Reese. This girl will solo carry the show 
by just saying done Nasama. I am starting to see the potential of this show because yes, there are the power fantasies involved, but the romance between these two and how she fawns over him as a Lupin, Lupine, it's just so good, right? So I'm, I'm starting to see the potential. Now, we're not really sure if it's a harm yet because these girls do exist, but they have yet to thirst over the main character. So maybe it's not there. It's more likely that there's going to be other girls showing up and forming around them. Maybe not really thirst over him, but the more girls there are, the maybe the more jealous that Reese could get. Just like how she said, you know, it's like, you shameless motherfucker. It's like, oh, wait, wait, she's, she's my wife. And then she starts like, oh, you can do whatever you want. But I see a lot of potential. Not in the anime, but in... Uh, in uh, this girl right here, yes, this girl right here, yes, I see a lot of potential. Well, that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.